Hi everybody, John from Wire here. In this video we're going to be talking about MailChimp lists and more specifically how to add and remove lists and how to import and export uh, information about the people you're going to be emailing into those lists. So first to begin, go ahead and log into your MailChimp account. Then over here on the sidebar, click on lists. So you can see that I already have a list already made. Um, and it has the number of subscribers, it has some details about the statistics of that list. But let's say that I'm starting from scratch, I just want to create a brand new list. What you do is click on create list, and then create list once again. So the first thing you're going to have to put down is the list name. And keep in mind, as it says right below, that this will be made public. So make it something that you don't really mind your people seeing. So for this one, I'm just going to put example list. And then the default from address is going to be what people are going to reply to if they want to say something back to you. So for this one, I'm just going to use an example. But for your email list, you actually want to create an email that actually works and people can email back. But for this, I'm just going to put example at wire.com. And then the from name, this needs to be something related to your list. So since I'm doing mine for this thing called Living Raw Treats, I'm going to do Living Raw Treats. I'm just going to do my treats example list. Cool. And then right here you just say you're receiving this email because, and then why. Okay, great. So contact information is going to be something that you're going to have to edit here or edit in your back end. Um, I'm just going to leave that the same. And then I don't really like receiving any notifications about the email list, but if you do, then you can go ahead and use the checkbox here, select which one you want to receive. Once you've filled in all of these sections and you verify that this information down here is correct or selected, click on save. And now it's going to give us a blank email list with no subscribers in it. So if you already have a list of your email subscribers, um, on a different like Excel spreadsheet or a text uh, file, what you can do is down here under import subscribers, you can click on this, or under settings, or excuse me, under add subscribers, you can go ahead and click on the import subscribers button there too. So I'm going to go ahead and import subscribers. And there's a few different ways you can go ahead and do this. If you're a little bit more advanced going through this, you can do your Google Contacts or Salesforce. Um, I just have an Excel spreadsheet that I'm going to use, so I'm going to use the CSV or Tab Delimited Text file. I'm going to click on Next. And now what you can go ahead and do is just browse for that file. So here is my um, email list that I have, and let me just go ahead and show it to you really quickly and how I have it formatted. So as you can see, there really isn't anything special about this list. Uh, the email address comes first, followed by first and last name. So I haven't even put it into the different column sections. It's just one single column with all the information in it. So once you have that uploaded, selected and uploaded, make sure you go ahead and check on that. And this is basically just saying that if you exceed the amount of subscribers in the free plan, they're going to start charging you. And I think that plan is in the thousands. So double check that um, if you're concerned about going over that limit but um, otherwise just go ahead and check it and click on next okay so in this section what MailChimp is trying to do is determine what piece of data within that spreadsheet matches up to their things that they need to send the emails so for example the first column right they see that there is an email address because I'm actually detected that so I'm going to scroll through here, I'm going to say, yep, this are, these are all email addresses, so I'm going to click on save. And then over here I'm going to say, yep, these are all the people's first names, so I'm going to click on save. And then yes, this is also their last names as well. So let's just use this as an example. Let's say that this happened to be um, their street name or something different than their actual last name. I know it's not, but let's just use an example. If it is, what you can do is on the drop down box, you can go and select the different type of um, column. So if I want to create a new column name that said, you know, address or home street, something that someone has given you to use, you can use that right here by creating the new column. 
I know that this is um, I know that this is going to be their last name, so I'm just going to keep it as last name. But regardless of how your data comes in, you can go and use this thing as well to create custom columns. All right, so I'm just going to confirm that everything looks correct. First column, email. Yep, my first name and last name. Then I'm going to click on next. Okay, so you're not finished yet. Um, what it wants you to do is just go ahead and confirm that everything is correct and then categorize your subscribers. So I want all the people that I just added to be subscribed to the email list. Keep in mind you want to make sure you have permission from these people to subscribe them. Um, it's a bad idea to just pull random email addresses off the internet or from different uh, places that you may know and try to put them in here because that's how you get banned or in trouble really quickly. So. I know that these emails are um, legit and they're also fake just for this video, so I'm going to click on import. All right, and now I can see that it was added to my list and all of my people are now in here. And I'm just confirming that the first and last name is correct and it is. So now let's say that I no longer want to have this list. I'm finished with this list. I will never need it ever again. Well, what you can do is you can go back into the list section and keep in mind too how I just have my new list appear right here. You can check on this list, the one you want to delete, and then click on delete. So keep in mind too that once you delete this, there is no way to get it back. So if you have emails and contact information from people that aren't stored in another list, you won't be able to get it back if you delete it. So I'm going to go and delete this list because I no longer need it. All right, so that's now been deleted. And as you can see, I'm left with my final email list right here. So with that, that basically covers how to create lists, how to import um, user data into those lists, and how to delete lists from your MailChimp campaigns. Hope this helped, and if you have any questions, I do read each and every comment in the section below. So go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions. Other than that, I hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching.